Welcome back to Bella's Bargains. I'm so glad you're here with me today. Welcome to Totally Easy Tuesdays, where we do DIYs that are totally easy. Anybody can do them. So I'm super excited to start this series. I've got it narrowed down, folks. We're going to do three videos a week. So Totally Easy Tuesdays, Themed Thursdays, and Shopping Saturdays. Um, obviously on Tuesdays, they're going to be easy DIYs. Thursdays still going to be easy, but maybe a little bit more difficult, a little more time consuming. And of course, Saturdays are mm, my hauls, my Dollar Tree hauls, my addiction, my love, my, oh, makes me just happy when I go shopping at the Dollar Tree. And I share all that with you and how you can find good bargains there and so on and so forth. All right. So I'm super excited to get this going. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you'll subscribe, like, share, put the ring button, all that fun stuff that you do on YouTube. If you're returning, thank you again for watching. I have so much fun doing these, so I hope you guys really enjoy. Please let me know which ones you like best. Make a comment below. If you didn't like them, you know, anything, whatever. I'm super happy to be doing this. It's just fun for me. So again, welcome to Totally Easy Tuesdays. DIYs that even the non-crafter can do. Enjoy. All right, so it's our first project for Two Easy Tuesdays. Um, we need this metal pan with sunflower, or pail with sunflower on it. This four by six frame, some styrofoam, two pack there, we're just gonna use one, and some picks. And these can be whatever you would like them to be. However, I am sort of staying with the fall colors and the sunflower sort of theme. All right, so first and foremost, let's open everything up. This is gonna be a really so easy, right? Super easy. Let's do that. I'm gonna open up our frame. What I like about this frame is that it really does match quite well the pail. There is sort of that green, um, very similar. They definitely complement each other, all right? And I'm going to take this particular pick right here, and I'm going to take the sunflower out of it because I want to use the sunflower for this frame. So I'm gonna take a sunflower like that, and I'm probably gonna take these little berries. Hmm, try to decide which ones I wanna use. Um, yeah, I think I'll use the red berries on this one. And I'm just gonna cut them off. So they don't pull off. And all I'm gonna do is glue this onto this frame. So on the back of this, there's like the little ridge. I'm gonna cut that off so I can actually get it to lay a little flatter. And I'm going to glue directly onto the glass right there because I want this to be, um, if I go here, it's gonna, really hit the, when you stand it up, it'll mess it up. So I'm just gonna load up the back of this sunflower with some hot glue, maybe. It's maybe it's still heating up a little bit here. Mm, that should do it. I'm gonna add that on right about here. Hold that down. And probably, um, one thing that I would probably do is spritz these a little bit with water and lay something over this overnight so that the sunflower will open up a little bit more rather than gluing down all of the petals. And then I'm going to glue on my berries. I sort of like them just coming up like this. So we're gonna throw some glue on and in they, they go. And that's it, the frame is done. And what I love is that it so complements this buck, this pail now. All right, now let's get to the pail. We're gonna open up our styrofoam. This is a two pack. <laughs> I don't know if I can get into it. And all I'm going to do is to put the styrofoam into this pail. Doesn't quite fit, all right? We've got, got to trim it down just a little bit. That's pretty easy. I'm just gonna cut a little bit off of each side. And all I did was 
score that with my scissors, as you can see. Now, hopefully I can get it in. <laughs> no, we're still a little wonky there. Okay, so I'm really trying just to get a pressure fit in there, if I can. So, um, just gonna keep trimming. All right, so now I can pretty much get it in there. No, it still wants to go here. Oh. I should have just traced the bottom of the bucket on. Should I see if I'd done this? It would have been a lot easier. I wasn't thinking. So FYI, for everybody else out there, remember, I make the mistakes. So you don't have to, right? Super nice to me, I think. Okay, now we should be good. Yep. Now we're in there, okay? And the only reason I want that in there is so that I can just go ahead and stick my picks directly in and they will stay. All right, so I am just going to sort of open up my picks a little bit. Get all the tags off of them. Bum, ba -da -da, and just start putting them in. Now, here's one thing that when you put them in, height is really important. And when you get these picks, you always notice they sort of have these little ridges so that you can, I, this is what I do. You can get your wire cutters. I don't have those with me right now. And you just score and boop. See that? Off it came. Now that's gonna be more the height that I want. And so I'm gonna go ahead and stick that right smack dab in the middle of my styrofoam down there. By the way, I did not glue down my styrofoam. I just didn't feel like I needed to. Um, but maybe I do now that it's moving. Huh, yeah, I do. I'm gonna glue that down now. I don't think I just glue it down like a ton. So in that goes. Nope, there we go. That's gonna be better. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and finish putting in the picks that I've chosen. So obviously I love the sunflower ones here. And I'm actually gonna take my sunflowers, see how they're straight. I'm gonna bend them forward a little bit, just like a regular sunflower in life would be, right? They sort of fall forward. I'm probably gonna cut some of these wonky ones off. They were just tattered, I guess, I don't know. Anyway, and then did you just see that? You can take these and curl them a little bit on the longer ones. Okay, now let's put this in. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna cut this down pretty far far as I can go. Oh, it gets a little harder when you get up closer because there's more. But it's still gonna work. All right, there we go. So they had some wires that stuck out there. Just gonna push them up actually. Okay, now I have my sunflowers that are facing forward, and I'm just gonna go in to, again, near the center, and because I'm going to sort of wrap the other flowers around my sunflowers. These are wired, so remember you can manipulate them, which is kind of nice, right? You can just sort of tweak them however you want to. And then this pick, which I really like because it's got the um, the, pine, the pine cone on it. And I'm going to leave it at the height that it is. It's going to go over on this side. Now this is going to make this project look really fall because I've added in the very fall colors and with the pine cone and stuff. This is the one that I originally took the sunflower off of. So I'm also going to add this one in, minus the sunflower, which is on the frame. And this one's going to go right in here. Okay. Now, I think this is super cute. I would manipulate all of these picks so that I will fill sort of my void areas around the bucket. Do you see? And then I'm going to put a picture into my picture frame. And there you have super easy peasy, super easy. 
and it looks really cute. All right, whoops. Let's go on to our next super easy Tuesday DIY. Okay, next super easy craft. I have a gold wire basket and I'm not sure parameter on these, but I'm gonna guess they're about um, maybe a nine inch roundish, approximately, yeah, eight inch, so an inch. Some of the self the adhesive cork. This is a leftover piece that I have from another project. This beautiful sort of toolish ribbon with the embossed like green leaves. Love, love, love that. Some of the nautical rope and a couple of picks that are a beautiful, you know, cr the cream colors. Really like those. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna trace the bottom of this onto our board, um, cork board, <laughs> so that we can cut it out. And this is a little wonky because you don't really have a straight thing to, to go on um, because there's the spaces in between the ends, but it's okay. I'm not trying to make it perfect. I'm gonna cut that out. I had to trim it down a couple of times to get it to where I thought it fit nicely down there. And I'm not gonna remove the adhesive backing because of course there's not a whole bunch for it to attach to. And instead, I'm going to put some drops of glue on some of the cross braces and then put this back in there with the backing still on it. And this is just to sort of help it stay down there. Okay, now already we've done quite a bit for this basket because now it has, you know, a bottom. I might have to add more glue drops. No, that's pretty good. So now I'm gonna take this super, super beautiful ribbon that I have <clears throat> from the Dollar Tree, of course. And interesting, like you could almost do either side because this side really looks silver. But of course, since the basket is gold, I'm definitely going to be using the gold side. And all I'm gonna do is start, I'm sort of twirling my ribbon into itself, if you can see that. Like I'm folding it in so that it'll fit on here. And I am just weaving it through. And this doesn't have to be like super perfect. Um, matter of fact, like I'm probably even going to go back and sort of fluff up some of the ribbon after I've gotten it weaved all the way through. And once I weave it back to where we started, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I can cut and I will be making just a little bow here. And I was trying to decide, oops, I need to glue that back down. That doesn't want to stay. And so I'll take it out for now. <clears throat> so I'm um, just going to cut pretty gen pretty generously. I'll cut a pretty generous length on this. And I'm going to go back and really play with the ribbon as I'm weaving it through. I really want to make sure I'm seeing the gold side of this. Um, because that's just, it's so pretty and it's so good with this, with the color of this wired basket. So I'm just sort of fluffing it up, pulling it through. We're getting closer to an equal length there. And once I get it to where I want it, then I'm going to knot this. just with a pretty knot, and I don't think I'm gonna do a bow, just a knot. This really isn't what I would call bow material, I guess. I don't know, no, I don't think so anyway. Okay, and again, I'm just gonna continuously be fluffing <laughs> this up. All right, now I have these beautiful cream-colored florals, 
and I am going to take these two florals and I'm going to take them apart and separate them. Okay, so I got all of my, my two picks, I got them cut apart and I left, um, well, this is what, how I cut them off of there. So basically just remove the portion where they gathered together. And now I'm just going to take these and I'm going to go over under, over, under, however, whatever it is, and weave them in and just go every other one. I hope that's making sense if you're watching this. Um, because I'm putting the pick in to the next one. Okay, so like, this one came over that one. So now I'm gonna go into this hole. And I no no rhyme or reason to the portion of the pick that I'm using next. I'm just picking them up as I go. So there's no specific pattern that you have to follow. And as you can see what the effect that I'm getting there, right? Okay, and then I'm just gonna go pretty much all the way around it. Um, again, just weaving that in and out. When you weave them in like that, they they stay because you know it's it's a wire. But if you felt unsure about it, you could um, glue these as you go around. I don't think that's necessary, um, but that's just to me. <laughs> so again, I'm just doing a weave in and out with the stick, the stem portion of it, to sort of give it a nice feel on the wire, okay. And we're gonna make our way all the way around this basket. Okay, so now I've got that all the way around and next I'm going to take the twine and I'm going to just give this a little base on the bottom um, and that will also help hold in all of the stems. You always have to seal your ends here. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this around, come back and show you what that looks like. It's pretty simple, we're just gonna have to hit every Oh, I ended up taking the base off of the, I mean, the sticker stuff off of the um, cork. And, but now it's sticky there. So I'm not sure how I'm going to solve that yet. I haven't figured that out yet. But sometimes the ideas aren't good, which is why I'm here to make the mistakes for you, right? I mean, you know, it happens. All right, I'm going to wrap this around probably twice and see what that looks like. All right, so I got... One whole cord went around basically three and a half, maybe times or so. And things are sticking to the bottom. I need to fix that. And then I ended up taking out that ribbon. When I got to this, it was all in there and whatnot. I was like, that looks so pretty. And the ribbon just took away from it. But that's what happens, right? That's why I do it first so that you know what not to do. All right, but now I went and got another jute rope, uh, nautical rope, I'm sorry, nautical rope. And I'm actually going to put some handles on this. And there is a section of this that has the majority of the berries. And so I think, and that should just be the front for some reason. So I'm going to basically put two handles across from each other. And the way I'm going to do it is to actually knot the rope. Um, and then as after I knot it, I'm gonna stick some hot glue in here to keep it together. And then I'm gonna cut off our tape then. I'm gonna put tape on the end of them so they don't fray up, but then you have to put some glue on them, otherwise they will just continually fray and unravel basically. All right, and then I'm just going to eyeball this 
and be like, okay, so I think approximately there. And the easiest way is to actually not cut the rope, but just to go ahead and, this isn't that long, so it's not that big a deal to pull this through and do my knot and then cut. Um, because I don't want to waste the nautical rope because it's, I really like it. I use it in a lot of projects. <laughs> anyway, all right. So I think that like that size there is good. So once again, I'm just gonna knot that. And after it's knotted, I will do the same thing. I'll put some glue on it and cut it off and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so I got the handles on. I think those look really good. And then I went and grabbed my little package of the three ivory pumpkins um, that are clips. And so this is just super easy. I'm just gonna clip the three of them on here because I think the colors are just perfect for this. And I think that that just is a nice little finishing touch on it. Um, and then, I mean, I can just see this basket filled up with, you know, like pine cones or knots. Like, look, just go pine cone in there. And just a basket of pine cones, I think, would be very beautiful in there. Anyway, super easy, right? So we did the basket was a dollar. The two picks were a dollar each, that's three. The twine was four. These were five, basically about five bucks. I hope you like that. I think that's super adorable. Again, it's so easy to transform this little metal basket into a nice, pretty fall decoration. Okay, for this super easy project, we are going to need a tin. Um, and these are the ones that have the jute cord. They, they bought them like this. I didn't put that on there. So, and these, just so you know, are, they're pretty tall. They are seven and a half inches tall. Okay. I have three of their harvest corn picks. I love these. I think they're super adorable. Package of their words. Thankful harvest welcome. Some, uh, what I would call, uh, what do they call these? Heather foxtail, foxtail, picks or something. Uh, I mean, you could use whatever you want here. Anyway, and a piece of styrofoam. And this is, some ribbon came on it that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. And the inside tube was just really, really sturdy, sturdy cardboard. And I was like, that's perfect. I'm gonna need that for this project. So basically what I'm gonna do is glue this in, have some styrofoam in it, glue my picks in. I'm gonna take the word harvest and put it on the bucket and throw it in with, throw in some of these picks and voila, we are going to be done and it's gonna be super cute. So let's start first off by, I do have some extra, extra foam pieces that I cut off once before, but literally all I'm gonna do with this is just force that onto it and I have foam in there and then I'm gonna stick my other extra pieces that I cut off for another project that I did and I'm gonna put those in there then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna glue it to the bottom of our bucket and the reason I'm putting the foam in there is because then I will glue the picks in and they'll glow, glue into the foam and stay there. All right, so there's the center of the bucket, as you can see, and I'm just gonna glue that right there. And that's gonna be my stabilizer for my corn picks. All right, let's move on to the words. I love these words. I think they're really cool, and I know people paint them and they do all kinds of things with them. And I am not going to. I'm only gonna use the word harvest. And obviously because I'm putting it in a bucket full of corn, right? And all I am going to do is put this on here, sort of just as is. Mono, it's, I call it monochromatic, right? Because it's the same color as the bucket. But I, I like that, I think it's cool. And it just is a, it's sort of a, 
simple little touch, I guess. I'm not sure. I could go this way too, which maybe I will. Mm -hmm. Well, let me think about that. Okay, so when I went to put this on, it really did get lost, the metal on metal. So I pulled out my glass writer in the gold and I am just sort of outlining the letters and it's on there pretty good once you do it. But if you wanted, you could Mod Podge over that to seal it in, but I think it'll be fine just using marker. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so now that I've done that, um, you can see it's got sort of a nice outline to it. I can go back and touch it up after I've got it on the pail. I found the seam in the pail and I'm gonna basically come to the front side of that, go about halfway, line up the middle of my word there. And then I'm just making sure that it all fits on here. And I am going to start hot gluing it down. And I'm just gonna hit some of the main points on it. This little glue gun is perfect for these kinds of jobs because it's such a small point on it. So again, my middle, I'm gonna go into the middle and I'm just gonna start working this word on to the bucket. Just like that. And I'm gonna come back over and get some more glue on it. Get it on that bucket as best we can. And then that. So, you know, as you're doing this, the problem is your glue will dry before you get something down. It happens a lot. And we have to go in and reapply glue. No big deal. And there we go. And the fact that it's not laying completely flat for me is really good because it gives it some dimension and then you can see the word a little bit better. And again, I'm gonna probably go back and touch up some of that, of the marker around it and remove any like glue blobs that are sticking out because we don't like those. All right, so now let's move on to the center of the bucket. I've already glued in my stabilizer is what I'm gonna call it. So now I'm gonna take my picks that I have here and I want them to stagger in there. So I'm gonna cut off the tags on all of these. Should have done that before the video, sorry. Sometimes I don't think. All right, so I have basically three different colors here too, which I like. And I want them at three different heights. So I'm planning on putting the sparkly one the tallest. And this one is going to be the shortest. Which means it goes in first. Because I'm going to take it all the way to the bottom when I put it in there. So I'm just going to take my stick. I'm going to load it up with some glue. And then... I'm gonna push it through that styrofoam and get it in where I want it. Okay, so you can see that. Got that one in. This is a tall project, it's sort of hard to show you everything. <laughs> the next one, I want it to go, I want it to be taller, so I'm not gonna push it in as far when I go in. It's not going all the way to the bottom. So I'm going to again load this up with glue doing it over the bucket because then if it drips, it just goes in the bucket, which is no big deal, right? That's where this is going in. And I'm gonna do visually look at this as it goes in 
and not going to go in as far because I want it to be a little bit taller. Can you see that? Let that dry for a second. And then I'm going to put my last one in. Okay, so stand it up. Seems to be doing quite nice. So now I'm going to do the last one. And this last one is going to have, um, it's not going to go near as far. So I'm going to take this extra little piece of styrofoam and I'm going to add glue here. So when I push it in, that'll just be another seal spot for it so that it doesn't move. And again, I want this one to be a little bit taller. So as I go in, I'm not going to go in as far. And I'm going to push that styrofoam down to help hold it there. Actually, I think that's working quite well. Okay. I'll just stay, little thing, stay. I'm going to hold them for a minute while they dry. Okay, so now that I have those, and you can see I have them at three different levels, I am going to finish this off by getting some of the um, these going around the base of it, and it will pretty much be done. Let's see what it looks like when it's all done. Hey guys, I hope you really liked that. Um, a couple things. I know my videos get a little long and that's because I'm actually videoing while I do the craft um, instead of doing a voice voiceover. Uh, but you know, I'm practicing on the best way to do that to make it easier for you guys to watch. And then also I realized that somehow I didn't record my final reveal of this project and these things are gonna happen. But this is my harvest bucket with the corn in it. So I think it came out so cute. I really like it. This might be my favorite out of the ones that I did. Um, anyway, hope you guys liked it. Let me know which ones you liked. I had a whole bunch of fun. And then we're going to see you next time on Thursday for themed Thursdays. And on Thursday, the theme is fall leaves. I have some really cool projects I did for that. So we'll see you on Thursday. Thanks again for coming to Bar Bella's Bargains. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day, great week, great life. God bless you all. And we'll see you.